Hello everyone and welcome to the last tutorial on how to create NFT pixel art. This is the last tutorial of the series. If you haven't checked out the series, please do uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. That will help a lot and let's uh, dive right into it. The first thing that we want to do is go to Visual Studio. If you already have opened the, the DAP, then it's good. If not, then you can just come to Visual Studio and open the, um, the folder that has the DAP. All right, so we have it here on the left. In the last tutorial, what we did, uh, we started changing some of the things in this uh, folder, like the logos. So we changed all the images. We changed the index file. Uh, we changed the favicon. And we changed a bunch of things like the config, um, the JSON, ABI.json, config.json. So we adapted this library so that we could use our contract and we deployed it on, um, well, we didn't deploy it, we kept it on the local host, but now we're going to deploy it. Well, let me just run the app. Uh, that's something that I've, I think we did it in the last tutorial, but let me just do it again so that you can see uh, our web app for the people who haven't checked out the previous video. npm run start. So this is gonna run, um, oh no, never mind. So we have to cd into the into the folder. In this case is uh, mdcy, mdyc, mintin, dap. And now we can issue the command npm run start. All right, so now you can see this is the DAP that we're going to deploy. Uh, I cannot connect because it says install MetaMask because I opened it on Safari, but you should open it on Google Chrome. And here, you know, you have the cost of the of the of the NFT. We we minted one last time, and you'll have to connect your wallet to see like which is the which is the the NFT so that you can see which NFT is the next that's gonna be minted anyways so that's what we're gonna deploy right now you can see it's in the, in, on the local host we start doing the AWS um, amplify setup you wanna go to github first and you wanna create a repository with your uh, with your dap so all of you don't need the node modules because they can be rec recreated with just uh, just by issuing a command but you want everything else so you want the so you want all the folders except this one okay so do that first. So just have all your, so have this folder and, you know, just drag it and drop it on a, on a GitHub repository. In my case, that's what I did here. I already did all of that. As you can see, you know, all these folders are here and, you know, here you can find a small description. You can put your own description. So after you have created your repository with your DAP, then you want to go to AWS. And here you, you can just type AWS Amplify or you can just select, well, I have it there because I used it before, but if not, you can just type it here and search for AWS Amplify. Then you're gonna get this page. You wanna click where it says get started. And then here we're not creating an app because we already have an app. We just wanna host it. So we go and click here. Here you can use any of these uh, it depends where your code is, right? So in my case, I have repository on, on GitHub, so then I'll use this one. But if you have Bitbucket, GitLab, I think the the steps should be the same. So in my case, I have GitHub, so then I'll just uh, click on continue. All right, so the authorization was successful. If it's the first time for you, then you will be asked to enter your credentials, your GitHub credentials, and you should have the repository already um, on GitHub before you do all of this. And where it says uh, recently updated repos repositories, then you want to click there and you'll see your repository. And while it's in the, on the main branch, so then you click next. Um, yeah, don't worry about this. This is just to build the app and then it's just to recreate and build the app on, um, on AWS Amplify. So just click on next. Just make sure that you have your repository name there. All right, and that's pretty much what you have to do here. You know, it's gonna detect what's the framework that's used, in this case, uh, React. So just save and deploy. So you'll be um, shown this page while you wait. And you know, it's provisioning, then it'll go, it will go to build, deploy, and verify. And then you can go here to see the app. So if you click on it, right now it says that, you know, it's deploying, so 
but this is where it's going to be host, uh, hosted. So right now you have these weird names, so you will we'll just add like a, like a custom domain and then it's going to look better. But for now, let's just give it some time and I'll be back once all of this is done. All right. All right. So we're back. Um, so here you can see that we already, you know, it's, it's gone through all the steps. And if you click here, it should take you to, to the DAP. Let me just close this. And then as you can see, we have deployed it successfully on AWS Amplify. Again, this is not the domain that we want, so we're going to change it now. So what we want to do is go to AWS again and let's go to, so we, we have a cost. I have a custom domain, so I'll just add that custom domain. It has nothing to do with this. Uh, but just uh, just for an example, I, I think it's good to to show you that. So we want to type AWS uh, route 53. So you want to just click on that one. And I'm also going to go to Namecheap because I have a domain already. If you don't have a domain, you can come to route 53. And well, I already, I, this is for something else, but uh, we'll create a new one. So if you don't have a domain, you can buy a domain here. So register a domain. And here, you know, it's gonna, you can check uh, for availability and then you can buy it or not. So I already have a domain, so I'm just gonna use my own domain. And the domain has nothing to do with the DAP. It's just for uh, teaching purposes, I guess. All right, so once you're here, you wanna go where it says hosted zones. And then you, so I already, so this is the, this is my website. I already have it here, but we're going to create one for the DAP. So just go to create, uh, create hosted uh, zone. And here you want your domain name. It has to appear in this way. So you don't want www, uh, you know, anything. You want your domain name and then .com. To my case, the, dom the domain that I'm going to be using is this one, which is the star winning bot. It's for a different project. So you wanna just copy paste. Description, that's optional. It's a public uh, hosted zone. And then that's pretty much it. So then you just go to create hosted, uh, hosted zone. And then just give it a second here. And what you want to do here, you wanna go to the NS, right? Which is the name server. And so let me, do so you wanna click here? And then it's going to show you all the name servers here. So what you want to do is copy each one of these name servers and then paste them on your, I don't know which uh, domain provider you have. In my case, I have Namecheap, but it should be the same for other domain providers. So go to your domain, manage, and then I already have them here because I already did this, but let me just... Uh, but I think these are uh, different ones. So you should have here maybe one or two, which come with the, with the, so the domain provider already has their own name servers. So in this case, uh, so let's say that you have two, you just delete those and then just copy the ones that Amazon is giving you. So in my case, this one is the first one. So just do that for all of them. All right, so once you have done all of this, just click here on the check mark, and then, um, well, it says that takes 48 hours. It, it's usually faster than that. So once you have done that, you can uh, you can just close this, I guess. So you want to go back to Amplify. So go to AWS Amplify. All right, and you have your DAP here. It says that it was a success. So you enter here again, and you you want to go on the left where it says Domain Management. So right now you don't have a domain, so you have this domain, which is the one that uh, Amazon provides you with, but you want to add a domain. So go to add domain and here it's going to, your domains are going to appear. If you listed your domain correctly on uh, route 53, then your domain will, will appear here. So in my case, I have two on route 53. That's why I have that. So this is the one for my website and this is the one that I just listed. Go to configure domain. 
and then here this is the branch where it is on the, so your dap is on the main branch so on github so you just leave this the way it is and here you know this is gonna so it's already adding the www so it's you know it's gonna re redirect to so if you don't have the www it's gonna redirect it to to have it so just leave the way all of these the way it is so just make sure that this is checked and go to save and right now it's it's gonna add some SSL certificates it's gonna do the activation and all of that so then you know you'll have your domain to be HTTPS so let's just give it a second here as well well a few minutes and then um, we should have our, our domain so then once we go to this address to this website so then we can um, we will see our uh, minting app there instead of this one so let's just give it a second so the SSL has been created so let's just wait for this until the domain activation has been done so. all right as you can see now the status is available it shows that the domain is active so it's been activated I already went to the website but I went on Safari startwinningbot.com and you can see that we have successfully deployed our uh, minting app on a custom using a custom domain and using AWS Amplify but let me go to Chrome because you want to see if you can connect to the MetaMask so go to you know your your domain name then just go to connect so once you click on connect you know it's going to open MetaMask and it's going to ask you to accept the connection so it's going to ask you like oh this website wants to connect and you can see here our domain name so just uh, you know select your uh, your account and then just select connect and you can see that this number has been updated now we have the the next NFT that will be minted if we decided to mint one here you can just mint one because of the contract I explained this in the last video so just go to buy try to buy one we don't have the, the Ethereum the ring buy Ethereum which is fake Ethereum um, anyways but you know you can try it um, with your own minting app and this is taking some time but let's just uh, see now it's asking you to you know it's gonna cost two Ethereum plus the gas fees I don't have sufficient funds so I'm just gonna reject it and then you should get like a message here saying that I rejected the the transaction as well and see this is the message that you get so we have successfully deployed our uh, minting app using a custom domain on the AWS Amplify using AWS Amplify so if you wanna if you like the video if you wanna see more of these videos uh, leave a comment start the conversation uh, you can support me by buying one of these NFTs. You can subscribe to the channel, tell other people. That will help a lot as well. And this concludes the NFT series. So I, I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.